My name is uh, Stephen Barstow, I'm author of uh, a book Around the World in 80 Plants and uh, today we're talking about uh, some of my favourite uh, perennial vegetables which are also featured in my book. There's another little patch here of Ramsons, just about coming into flower as you can see. It's going to be lovely white starry flowers very soon. Look around here, there's uh, a lot of uh, different primula or crosses between uh, oxlip and primrose. So this is no doubt across the much bigger flowers than uh, the ordinary oxlip, which is very common in gardens here. This is very nice. This is German tarragon. It's much more productive than French tarragon. It has a very similar taste, slightly anise taste. Very good in, uh, in mixed salads. So this is growing very well in this part of the garden, which is quite dry. There you go. I can have a bit more of this uh, giant bellflower. You can see the size of these plants here. Everything can be used. There's various other things here, but uh, let's carry on around the corner. The last part of the garden. Almost done the tour. Maybe a few things we haven't uh, seen so far. There are other species of dandelion here. This one, for example. They have very many different uh, forms of dandelion and species. And behind it we have uh, a very special Scandinavian onion called Norlandslurk, which is actually sterile. It's a hybrid uh, between two Siberian species, uh, Allium nutans and Angulosum, I think. Another couple of uh, tulips here we can use. Over here we have a lovely purple one, Tulipa humilis. Beautiful. Well, I think that is probably just about that, don't you? We could have found a few more things, I'm sure. Oh yeah, this has just been lying outside. This was actually a sales plant last year. It's a, a type of chicory called uh, Rosa di Travona, I think it or something like that. It has a lovely red, red-leaved variety. A bit of that in the salad, why not? And I'll let it grow on to seed Indeed. for the next generation. Yeah, and we have a, the uh, so called cauliflowers of rhubarbs can can be used as a vegetable, um, at least in boiled. at least in small amounts. Yeah, I would I would I would boil it just to be just to be sure. Um, so it can be used just like cauliflower with a kind of a cheese sauce, for example. Does it taste like rhubarb? Yeah, slightly acidy tasting. Mm -hmm. But I've never found a analysis of the, the chemical composition of the, the flowers but uh, I know that it has been used they have been used traditionally as a, as a vegetable in some parts and then we have this arctic raspberry rubus arcticus it's a cross between North American and uh, Scandinavian species and there's these lovely red flowers and uh, red berries afterwards both the leaves and the, the flowers can be used on that um, and uh, also we have here Hop shoots can be oh, used. Yes. This time we can just pick off the, the very tops of the, they've come quite a long way already. Uh, in markets in southern Europe you'll see uh, bundles of hop shoots at this time of year being sold. Both for salads, both for salads and also for, uh, for pizza, for you know, pasta dishes, you name it. Yeah, it doesn't really taste of hops, no. Very mild taste. There's another rhubarb here. It's one of the kind of uh, fruit rhubarbs, if you like. Could have a little bit of that as well. I think this is a variety called Victoria. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see of uh, ground elder and, uh, and hedge garlic. Uh, yeah, Here and comes this our uh, dessert. Yeah, we discovered this a bit earlier today that this is a, a currant, a variety, a species of currant. Mm. And these uh, these flowers are really really delicious and mm. Mm -hmm. sweet tasting at this time of year. Not surprised that there are loads of bees around here at the moment. Also over here we have Worcesterberry, Yosterberry, and particularly these are, are full of uh, bees at the moment, so they're no doubt quite strong. You see the bee there. <laughs> they absolutely love it. Mm. Yeah, excellent. Mm -hmm. 
So you can pick a few of those if you like. Over here we have uh, bikes. Yeah, bikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more more onions. You can actually make use these. What used to be called Lincolnshire asparagus in Lincolnshire in England, and uh, these uh, you can uh, boil these and use them as a vegetable. Quite good. Shall we say mm -hmm. that's enough? Or to uh, Bon appétit. <laughs>